What's good everyone? Paul the fifth here with another video for you. Today's focus, the iPhone 13 Pro Max camera. I would have got this out for you a lot sooner, but in the middle of filming things, my Uncle Jay passed away last week. So I had to go back to Indiana. I know I put a lot of shorts out, try to create some buzz and excitement. So I apologize for just getting this out for you to see. Also, rest in peace, Uncle Jay. So, in usual Apple fashion, Apple had their announcement on Tuesday, September 13th. Apple announced the iPhone 13 as well as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I did something I've never done before. I got up at 7 a.m., which is 5 a.m. Cupertino time. That's where Apple is headquartered in California. And I ordered two of these phones. You may have seen the short on some of these. I'm filming myself now on one of the iPhone 13 Pro Maxes. So you might know that I'm not much of a talker. I do most of my communication via email and text. I only talk to my mother and ITT. So I got myself these two phones for mostly this camera feature, making my YouTube videos, taking pictures, and my amateur photography page. So today's video is a combination of two videos into the one. As I mentioned last week, I did some filming before I went back to Indiana for the funeral, but I'm going to share with you some of that video. I'm going to share with you the unboxing of the phone, putting the screen protector and the camera lens protector on the phone as well. And it's also about my personal review of this new phone, my thoughts, my likes, dislikes, if there are any, and my overall opinion of what I think about this new product. So last weekend, I went to two different parks to take pictures and video on this phone. I went to Two Rivers Park, and then I also made a trip over to Shelby Bottoms. I got some pictures and videos, and I'd like to share those with you, but before we do that, I wanna talk about some of the new upgrades and features between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max, and some of the things that prompted me to make this purchase. All right, let's, Go, go, go. So for this part of the video, I wanted to talk tech specs. Let's talk about some differences between the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. Both phones have a 6.7 inch screen. Now when you talk about screen size, you talk about going diagonally, it's not up and down. So if you have a 55 inch screen on your TV, it's not up and down, it's diagonally, right? Yes. So one thing I wanna talk about is battery life. On the Apple website here, they just show the iPhone 12 and the 12 mini. So I'm going to phone scoop and that's going to give us some more details. On the 12 Pro Max, it's a 3,687 milliamp battery. So for the 13 Pro Max, it doesn't really give us a milliamp specification. On the Apple website, is it'll show you what you can do with it. So on video playback up to 28 hours, video playback streamed, you have about 25 hours and then audio playback up to 95 hours. Okay, I'm not gonna stay up for a whole day listening to music or watching video, but let me say from experience, moderate usage, filming, listening to music, watching YouTube, looking at my analytics, a full day and a half, from not having to charge this. This thing is a beast. And the other benefit of that, when I'm on location or I'm out somewhere, I've got plenty of battery life once I'm filming because that tends to go fast. I mean, I do keep extra battery charges with me, but don't really have to use them when I use this phone here. Let's talk speed. The 12 Pro Max has got an A14 Bionic chip with eight gigs of RAM, pretty fast. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is a beast. It features the A15 Bionic chip with a five core GPU. This bad boy screaming hella fast. Here in a moment, I'll do some speed tests to show you. Like I said, I've got 256 gigs on both phones. Let's talk camera. The iPhone 12 Pro Max. Main camera, 12 megapixel, f1.6. Portrait mode with bokeh, depth, and lighting control. The wide is a 12 megapixel camera, 2.4. Supports advanced camera modes, night mode, and deep fusion. On the telephoto, again, 12 megapixel, 2.5 zoom, and we have the f2.8 
2.2 aperture. Things are stepped up on the 13 Pro Max. Let's take a look. Again, main camera, 12 megapixel. You have an F1.5, portrait, portrait lighting, panorama up to 63 pixels, night mode, smart HDR, smart HDR4, live photos, burst mode, supports Apple RAW. The wide 12 megapixel camera, again, F1.8, 120 degrees, or that also acts as your macro camera. This next part is what really captivated my interest. The telephoto lens is a 12 megapixel camera with a three times zoom, F2.8 aperture, and this thing is amazing. It also acts as a wide angle camera, 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, 60 frames per second, slow motion, 240 frames per second, time lapse, stereo audio, audio zoom, can capture stills while recording, cinematic mode with smart focus, supports ProRes 4K. That's not quite here just yet, but I am so stoked about that. Here in just a moment, I wanna show you some of the cinematic footage. Before we check out the cinematic footage, let's do some speed tests between the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. In those comments, let me know what you think wins. Well, let me just say that if you didn't take some time and pause and put things in the comments, let me tell you that this A15 Bionic chip is flipping crazy ridiculous fast. Let's check it out. Let's go ahead and do a speed test. I'm an AT&T subscriber. I'm gonna do things on their network and then we'll do things on my Wi-Fi. Here's Safari and what's my favorite website? You guys already know it is Sweetwater. I don't have iOS 15 on here yet. On both phones, we'll type in S. Okay, I'll have to, there we go. Let's see which one is faster. One, two, three. Oh yeah, hell faster on that. This one's still trying to load. Oh yeah, hella crazy difference. Okay, let's clear these out. Let's try it again, but this time we will connect to my Wi-Fi. This time let's go to the Guitar Center page. See how things do on my Wi-Fi. All right, here we go in one, two, three. Yep. Yep, that A15 Bionic chip is so much quicker. Oh my gosh, it's insane how much quicker it is. While we're in this view, let's take a look at the camera here. Look at the 13 Pro Max versus the 12 Pro Max. Look how much bigger these lenses are over here. Since the photo quality is so much better on this, let me show you some pictures and videos of some pictures I took last week. Good morning world. About to walk into church today, and if you can tell behind me, it is rather foggy. Let's go ahead and make this journey on inside. So here's my setup. We've got the MacBook Pro connected to the X32 producer using a Logic template so I can use that for the broadcast. And then I also monitor my mix over here. And then this monitor over here is not on, but that's how I see who's coming up on stage and making sure the right mic is with the right person. I love what I do. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the unboxing of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that might be, let me check. I think that is the FedEx delivery guy with my new phone. Let's go check it out. What do we have here? Yes, it has arrived. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. I've got a screen protector and a camera lens protector as well. I'll show you how to get that on and we'll get this video rolling. So right here is my iPhone 13 Pro Max that was just literally delivered by the FedEx guy. This is the screen protector and protector for the camera that goes on the back. Let's do this. And if you know me and seen any of my other unboxing videos, you always know that I say to cut away from yourself. There's a 
some kind of foam, okay. If you don't know, Apple is a very innovative company. They like to be very green, meaning they're very environmentally friendly and environmentally conscious. So they decided not to put a whole bunch of plastic around every single item. And that has saved them, I think, something in the billions of dollars. So what they did was they've got these two pieces of plastic right here. There we go. And this one here is the blue. Ooh, look at this. This bad boy is the silver. Isn't she a beauty? Oh my gosh. Yes, I got fingerprints all over her now. Let me go ahead and get things set up with my iCloud and we'll be back in just a moment. Oh, hello. All right, so I am at Two Rivers Park, one of my favorite places in Nashville to come to relax on a Sunday afternoon. And I'm going down here by the lake and see if I can't get some more pictures and video. Right now I'm filming myself on the forward facing camera of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm getting my 13 Pro Max out to get some pictures and video and footage as well to see if you can tell a difference. All right, here we go. I just had an amazing time at Two Rivers Golf Course Park. Now I'm at Shelby Bottoms trying to get some more footage. Let's see what I can capture here.
So, were you able to figure out which pictures of video were filmed on the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the 12 Pro Max? Well, here's the answer. So anything that had the lens flare on the sun, where the light was shining down in beams, that was all shot and filmed on my 12 Pro Max, including the video of the plane flying around. I actually shot that video in May, right after I took a course called 14 Day Filmmaker. I was trying to get kind of cinematic there. Let's move on. Let me show you how to get the screen protector and the protector on the camera to protect those lenses. All right, here we go. So here is the brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's a little dirty, it's got some fingerprints on it and everything, but it's time to go ahead and clean this up, put the screen protector on, and then we'll put the protector on the camera here. Let's go. First things first, we get out our cleaning cloth, then we'll take our little wet wipe. I don't like that word at all. Clean that screen, get any fingerprints, any dust, debris, anything like that off of here. Then we'll take our microfiber cloth. Then we have a dust absorber here. Take this little guy, do one of these to make sure that there's not any dust or particles or any debris or any hair. Sweet. Looks pretty good to me. So we'll take this part here. There's a little flap. Pull the plastic off. Just align it. Then you can take this guy here. Or let gravity do its job here, but we'll just. Pretty good. We got a little spot up here. We'll. Work that out. Now work it out. Now work it out. Now work it out. Sweet. Simple as that. No bubbles, anything like that. Then we'll turn it over. Same thing here. Clean the camera space. Take our microfiber cloth. Run it across things lightly just to dry things off, make sure there's nothing on those lenses. We'll take our dust absorber again. So you basically on this, just align it. Make sure everything is perfectly centered. There we go. Not that hard, guys. And I like to just kind of take my cleaning cloth, make sure that that lens protector is on there and nice and clean. And did you know that when it snows, my eyes become wider, they do. I think that's the lyrics for that song. But anyhow, the iPhone 13 Pro Max will fit in the iPhone 12 Pro Max case. Let's pop this bad boy in. It's a little snug. One last cleaning to make sure we get any fingerprints and dust particles off our screen, off our very nice, beautiful, clean screen on our 13 Pro Max. Let's turn this on. Cool. So now that we have our investment protected, let's go on outside and take some pictures and video of the downtown area. All right, time for my likes and the dislikes. The things that I do enjoy about this phone, obviously the camera is flipping great. You saw some of the pictures and videos of it. What did you think? Leave me a comment down below there. Also, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, smash it, thumbs up, like that notification bell. I sure would appreciate you. Okay, the other thing I really like about this phone is the battery life. One other killer thing about this phone here, this 120 
Earth's refresh rate, that's flipping crazy. It's not as like, not as smooth on the 12 Pro Max. Uh, the other thing that I'm really enjoying, battery life, able to go a full day and a half, that's pretty wild for me because I'm pretty heavy, battery heavy, intense user on my iPhones. The volume is great. Uh, the audio quality is fantastic. The speakers are a little bit better than the previous iPhone 12 Pro Max. One thing I'll say that I really had an issue with, huge fan of protecting my investment. You probably hear me say this all the time. So I got some third party lens protectors and for some reason I got this really dope case. It seemed to not want to fit over that lens protector. So I had to put it on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, kind of matches my shirt a little bit. So I swapped out, this case it was on the 12 Pro Max, put it on here. That's a really minor, small, dismal inconvenience. Other than that, I have nothing but positive things to say about the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The speed is incredible. Something small that makes a huge difference is Airdropping, I've talked about this multiple times in multiple videos, airdropping from this to my laptop is incredibly super hella fast and smooth. The only thing that I will say is I waiting patiently for the ProRes video to come to a software update to kick in on this because I cannot wait for this to have ProRes video. Now I'm sure that that's going to be gigabyte hungry. It's going to take a lot of storage and space, but ProRes on a phone, that's flippant unheard of. I love that feature. Uh, the cinematic video I think is pretty stellar as well. Having the capability of adjusting your f-stop or the blurry background, uh, not only while you're filming, but in post as well. That blew my mind. I really dig that feature overall. All in all, I must say that getting two of these has been a great investment for yours truly, Paul the Fifth. Fifth. Okay, so question for you. I appreciate you watching all the way from the beginning to the end. What did you think about today's content? Did you like the picture quality, the videos? Did you like the way the video was put together? Let me know in those comments. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. Go ahead and consider smashing that subscribe button, thumbs up, notification bell, so that way you are in the know when it comes to what me, Paul the Fifth, is up to. I've got more videos like this coming for future tech. I've also got some studio tours that are coming. I'm meeting with Liz Shaw very soon. He is the one that's gonna be setting the foundation for my studio tour series. It's gonna be hella exciting. It's gonna be great. We're taking you to some places, big and small, Oh my gosh, this is so exciting for me to geek out and gear out with other audio nerds. All right, in wrapping things up, have you got yourself one of these yet? Are you possibly considering the idea of it? Has this video given you anything to think about? If you currently have an iPhone, are you wanting to get one? Yay, nay? Let me know your thoughts and feelings on getting yourself an iPhone 13. I have the Pro, if you're gonna get one, let me know if you've got one already. Share your experiences with me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know I'm not gonna let you forget my name. My name is Paul Fish.